conductivity meter. Our conductivity meter CT650 indicates both conductivity as well as TDS of water with inbuilt relay with an option of current output or RS485 output. Unboxing. The entire package is supplied with a sensor, indicator and a sensor holder along with the user manual. Sensor. The sensor senses the conductivity in a solution through its two concentric electrodes. A standard sensor comes with a 3 meter long shielded cable. It is available with three different cell constants to suit various ranges of conductivity ranging from 0 to 1 lakh. Each of these sensors are also optionally available with triclaw fitting and automatic temperature compensation. Indicator This is a digital indicator with 7 segment 4 digit LED display that receives the signal from the sensor and displays the readings in micro siemens or ppm as selected by the user. It also sends out an alarm signal if the reading exceeds the set point. Sensor Holder The sensor holder is a 3 4 inches plastic T-fitting with female threading that can be connected to a sampling line. Installation Now that we are pretty much acquainted with the components, let us step through the installation process. Please remember, it is very important to understand the installation process to make the best use of our products. Here we go. Sensor installation. When the sensor is installed directly into a pipeline without a standard sensor holder, please ensure that the electrode is completely dipped into water. It is very important to loop the outlet tubing or piping in U-shape such that the sensor fitting always remain filled with water. Also, always prevent creating air bubbles in the line because presence of air bubbles can result in erroneous or fluctuating readings. Meter Installation the meter is designed to suit both field and panel mount applications. For field mounting, the meter comes with a sensor mount option. The meter has slide grooves on three sides of the enclosure that can be used to slide the plate of the sensor. This ensures that irrespective of the orientation of the sensor, whether it is on horizontal or vertical line, the meter display always remains horizontal. For viewing convenience, it is always advisable to mount the meter at an eye level. For panel mounting, make a 90mm by 90mm cutout on your panel plate. Slide the meter through the cutout and fit it with side clips to lock it. That was all about the installation process. Now we shall see the wiring connection. Wiring connection the meter has glands on the hinge cover to enroute the mains cable and output wires to their respective terminals. The supply voltage should be 230 volt AC, plus or minus 10% unless specified. The cable used must be round and of 6 to 8 mm in diameter. While closing the hinge cover, any extra length of cable has to be pulled out of the glands, such that the hinge cover can be closed tightly thus keeping it IP65. Meter Operation Let us now learn the operation of the meter. By turning the meter on, the display will show the company name, type, version and output. As you can see, it has three programming keys, View Key, Acknowledge Key and Menu Key. The View Key displays factory settings like Cell Constant, Calibration Factor, Output On and Output Off Values and Address. The Acknowledge Key displays Temperature and resets the relay in case of conductivity fault. The Menu Key is used for Display Mode, Set Point, Hysteresis and Temperature Value Setting. While Programming, 
the view key can be used to right shift the ACK key for increment and menu key to enter and save the setting. Now, to select the display mode, press menu key twice. Select the required mode as conductivity or TDS using the ACK key and press menu to save. The display shows set point. Here we must enter the TDS or conductivity set point of the plant. Using view and ACK keys, enter the value and press menu to save. Please note, if the conductivity goes above this set point value, the meter will send out an alarm with a beep sound and the high LED light will start blinking. In such cases, you can use the ACK key to acknowledge. After setting the set point, the display will show hysteresis. Hysteresis is basically the percentage value of the set point for which the relay will not reset after getting energized. For instance, if our set point is at 500 and the hysteresis value is set at 10%, Then the relay will get energized the moment conductivity exceeds 500 and remain energized until the value goes down to 450, which is 10% less of the set point value. As mentioned earlier, the meter is available with an optional output of either RS485 or 4 to 20 milliampere. Let us first understand the settings for 4 to 20 milliampere. In case your meter has 4 to 20 milliampere output, the default 0 and span setting can be viewed by pressing view key. In case the factory setting of 0 and span needs to be changed based on the process requirement, press view and ACK key simultaneously and enter password 0678. On pressing menu, display will show type. On pressing menu again, we can choose the type as either normal, that is 4 to 20, or inverse, that is 20 to 4, using the ACK key. Then press menu to save and set the zero value. After setting the zero value, press menu twice to set the span value. Having changed the span value, press menu twice to end and save the setting. Note, the meter has an inbuilt 4 to 20 milliampere output simulator for easy synchronization with the PLC or any other remote device. To output standard 4 and 20 milliampere, enter password 0, 4, 2, 0. Press menu twice to output 4 milliampere. Press ACK key and then menu key to output 20 milliampere and press menu key twice to exit. Let us now understand the settings for RS485. For meters with RS485 output, only after setting the device ID and the baud rate one would be able to communicate with the instrument. Let us understand how to do these settings. Press view and ACK key simultaneously and enter password 0, 3, 4, 5. Press menu and the display will show baud rate. On pressing the menu key again, the display will show a previously set baud rate. One can select between 4800 or 9600 by using the ACK key. Once you have selected the desired baud rate, press menu twice and the display will ask for device address. Use the view and ACK key to set the device address to the required address. Press menu twice to save and exit. Please note, the maximum number of device address settable is 25. Troubleshooting 
if the meter shows no display. Check the input supply with the help of multimeter and ensure it gets required supply. In case display remains off despite proper supply, open the instrument and change the fuse with a new 630 milliampere fuse. If the meter shows wrong reading, it could be because of the following reasons. Check whether the sensor is installed correctly as per installation guidelines. If the sensor still shows wrong reading, then remove the sensor from line and check for any scaling or fouling. Clean the sensor in mild acid and reinstall. If it still shows wrong reading, then contact the nearest service center. If conductivity remains zero, remove the sensor from line and short the electrodes. On shorting the electrodes, the display should show over range. If it shows over range, reinstall the sensor ensuring the electrodes are in proper contact with water. If it does not show over range, then the sensor cable might be open. Contact service center. If the meter shows fluctuating reading, if the meter reading is fluctuating, then it could be because of improper installation and presence of air bubbles. Always prevent creating air bubbles in the line because presence of air bubbles can result in erroneous or fluctuating readings. For any further details or query, please contact our nearest dealer or visit our website www.embarkwater.com. Thank you.